hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to display PDF file or uh, um, a content in PDF when we use a lightning web component quick action um, since uh, customers have migrated to uh, la, la, um, a lightning experience uh, we started using lightning web component uh, so for quick action uh, we are uh, relying more on uh, uh, <coughs> lightning uh, uh, quick action uh, rather than uh, how we were using uh, bu buttons and uh, detail link on the page layout uh, this uh, button and uh, detail link uh, were very famous uh, uh, in salesforce classic but in uh, salesforce lightning experience the quick actions are uh, um, very easy to develop and uh, with the lightning web component we can easily add a quick action to the page layout <coughs> so first what I have done is I created a simple visual force page and then I'm rendering that as PDF you can also um, uh, render as just PDF or advanced underscore PDF and then I have a sample content uh, for example if you want to pull in data from uh, uh, any object uh, you, you can use standard controller and uh, uh, from the lightning web component uh, you can add the ID of the record so that it will be easy to easy for the visual force page to fetch the re uh, re relevant information and display it on the screen so but here I'm not using any apex class or anything uh, I'm just rendering it content called a testing PDF next I created a lightning web component in the lightning web component I am using lightning quick action panel uh, this is in beta but it's uh, if you use this uh, based on the device uh, based on the browser um, and other uh, features it will display the content uh, properly we need not uh, write any bootstrap CSS uh, or anything like that uh, for the content to vary according to the devices and other browser browser free features um, so and uh, I am I'm using iframe in the iframe I'm using uh, the source as uh, slash apex slash the VF page name so test PDF is, is my VF page name I am setting both height and width as 100% so based on how much the panel opens it will take the full height and width if you want to reduce as per the requirement you can definitely adjust it uh, my recommendation is do not use uh, pixel uh, or any other way to um, adjust the height and width uh, please try to use percentage so that based on the device and uh, based on the browser features it will automatically display properly and then I have a button in the footer slot and I'm calling this method called close quick action dialog this is my custom JavaScript so let's see what is there and uh, here what I'm doing is I'm the, just displaying as you sorry dispatching an event called close action screen event uh, since uh, this lighting web component is using uh, screen action using this new close uh, um, action screen event it will close the current uh, lightning web component screen action I'm using this action type as uh, screen action I'm using uh, uh, record action and uh, record page uh, this is not needed but if you want to pass the record ID this lightning underscore underscore record page is needed so that you can use RT API uh, record IDs or just record ID so that it will get the record ID I am adding uh, just uh, objects as account so that this particular uh, quick action can be added only to the account object if you try to search for this VPDF uh, lightning web component uh, in, in, in the new uh, quick action from contact lead or opportunity you won't be able to find it this is applicable only for account object next what I have done is I have created a quick action called view PDF and 
I made use of the lightning web component. So this is my lightning web component which has iframe to the visual force page and it is of type screen action. So now this is my account record. Looks like I didn't add it to the page layout. Let's add it. The quick action name is view PDF. I can see the view PDF. So when I click this view PDF, the lightning web component will be called uh, from the lightning web component. Uh, since I am using a visual force page as an iframe, it will display the visual force page and the visual force page is rendered as PDF. So it will display the PDF. Yeah. By default, we will get the scrolling also. And this is the PDF. So if I click this, it will call close uh, screen action event and then it will close it. We get it here also. And uh, I, I created a simple button also so that uh, the users can uh, use this action to close it. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.